Hello and welcome. My name is Hunter Heath, and today I'll be talking about the leadership quality, positive attitude. First, I wanted to start with a quote from Stephen Hawking. And however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up. I think that's an incredible quote, and I really think that Stephen Hawking is an incredible example of someone with a positive attitude, someone that maintained a positive attitude. Um, in his early 20s, he was diagnosed with motor neuron disease, but he never let that get in his way. It, he never let that stop him from pursuing his dreams. Um, that would be devastating news for really anybody to hear at any age, but especially someone so young and with so much life to live. Um, but really his positive attitude and I think his outlook on life allowed him to accomplish many great things first in the field of physics, um, then as an author, and really as an advocate for um, many powerful things, many many people like him, many kids like him. So um, I, I, he just was a great example of positive attitude. And really, in my opinion, uh, positive attitude is one of the core qualities in this book. Um, I believe that if you don't have a positive attitude, it's really going to be tough to develop a lot of these uh, characteristics and, and leadership qualities or really just get through life in general. Um, I feel like your attitude determines a great deal of your success in any field that you're in. So next, I'd like to transition and tell a little story about a time in my life, a personal experience that I had that I felt like it uh, tested this quality and ultimately helped me develop this quality. Uh, not that anything that I've come across is anything near what Stephen Hawking had to, um, had to go through, but I just wanted to kind of connect this quality to to a personal experience of mine. So towards the end of my senior year in college, I had two separate interviews for full-time positions at the company that I was currently interning at. Um, well, really neither interview went great. And long story short, I, I didn't get either job. Uh, I just, I did, hadn't developed my interview skills yet. And it, it was really tough. So um, that got my spirits down a little bit. It was Honestly, it was tough to go into work the next few days. I, I felt embarrassed. I kind of felt like a failure. Um, and I had to see some of the people who actually interviewed me and, you know, some of my peers asking, well, how did it go? How did it go? So that was tough. Um, and ultimately, I, I made a decision to not let it affect my, my work. I, I made a decision to not let it affect me personally. Um, I maintained a positive attitude, and that, that was the key. I treated that failure really as a learning experience and I worked on my interview skills. I worked on um, just working harder at work. So word of mouth or pe those people could see me, you know, working harder, putting in the work. And at the end of the end of the story, I guess later I interviewed for another position in the company and I, I got the job and it was really a, a coveted position of mine. So um, I really feel like my positive attitude throughout that whole experience. Um, help me set help set me up for where I am today as a person and as a professional. So what are some ways that we can all maintain a positive attitude? I have a few key points that I'd like to share with you that I really feel like can help you out um, in this leadership quality. First, it's your attitude is your choice. And this was a author's first point in the book and I feel like it was his most important one. We can't really choose a lot in life, you know, where we come from, certain situations that happen to us, but in the end, we have the ability to choose how we react to those situations. Um, we have that ability to turn something bad into something beautiful, but it all, it all just depends on our mindset and our attitude towards it. Um, and I really like that quote from the beginning of the chapter from psychologist William James. It says, the greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitude of mind. Now, that's a great quote. So secondly, I would say surround yourself with positivity, positive people. It's really tough to stay positive around a bunch of negative Nancys. Um, secondly, read books, you know, listen to podcasts, watch videos that contain positive messages, positivity. Um, really expose yourself to a variety of these because like I said, you know, it's, it's not a one size off situation. Um, there could be multiple varieties of, of help that, um, that could help you out. So last, I would say, uh, remember to stay grateful for what you do have. It's really easy to get caught up in the world, um, but I feel like the key to maintaining a positive attitude is just remembering how good that we have it. 
So just remember that when life throws us that tough situation, maybe you don't get that job that you were really, really hoping for. Um, just remember that your attitude can determine whether you, you take steps in the right or wrong direction. Thank you.